Have you ever heard the saying or quote, if you ever want something badly, first let it go. If it comes back to you then it is yours forever. If it doesn't, then it was never yours to begin with. This thought-provoking quote by George H. Powell holds a deep meaning that can guide you through various aspects of life. Everyone encounters desires, objects, or even people that ignite a burning passion within us. Sometimes, it feels like the only way to secure those things is for you to hold on tight, clinging to them with all your might. The usual desires will be a dream job, a relationship, or a goal you've set for yourself. To achieve this, you put all your time, effort, and money into pursuing it, but despite your efforts, it always seems out of reach. This is where Powell's advice comes into play, letting go. However, letting go doesn't mean giving up or abandoning your dreams. Instead, it's about realizing that you have become a hostage to your desires and it is blackmailing you 24 by 7. Letting go of your desires temporarily means if it is truly destined for you, they will find their way back to you, and if they aren't meant for you will fade away. In life, whenever you hold on to something too tightly, you create tension and resistance. This can actually push away the object you desire. By letting go, you allow space for things to unfold naturally. You surrender control and open yourself up to the flow of life. For example, think of it like planting a seed in a garden. You can water it, nourish it, and give it sunlight, but you can't force it to grow. Sometimes, all you can do is plant the seed and let nature take its course. Similarly, when you let go of your obsession with something, you give it the freedom to blossom in its own time. Now you may fear, what if it doesn't come back? What if your dream job or the person you love doesn't return to you? This is where the second part of Powell's quote comes into play acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or defeat. It means acknowledging that some things are beyond your control. Some things are not destined for you. It means trusting that the universe has a bigger or different plan for you, even if you can't see it yet. If something doesn't come back to you, it's not to be considered a failure on your part. It simply means that desire wasn't meant to be a part of your life's journey. Instead of brooding on what you've lost, try to focus on what you've gained resilience, wisdom, and the opportunity for growth. Letting go is the ultimate act of self-love and self-preservation. It will ensure that you don't go into depression waiting for something to happen. It's about releasing expectations and embracing the present moment. It's about finding peace and contentment, regardless of the outcome. Imagine holding on to a tightly clenched fist. You can't receive anything new while your grip remains so tight. Similarly, clinging desperately to a desire can create a sense of control, but it ultimately restricts growth and flexibility. By letting go, you create space for unexpected opportunities. When you hold on to something too tightly, you inadvertently push it away. This applies to relationships, jobs, and even possessions. Imagine you want to be friends with someone and constantly bombard that person with messages, emails, and phone calls. 
Will that person be happy to have you as their friend? In all probability, that person will start avoiding you. Desires are also similar. If you become too obsessed with them, they will try to move away from you. Sometimes, things simply aren't meant to be a part of your journey. This realization can be liberating. It allows you to focus your energy on the present and embrace the opportunities that arise instead of clinging to the past or something that might never materialize. Trust that the universe has a plan. While it's important to take action, understand that life sometimes unfolds in unexpected ways. Be open to the possibilities that lie beyond your immediate desires. Letting go is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength and maturity. It allows you to release the constraints of attachment and embrace the possibilities that lie ahead. While it may not always bring back what you desire, it empowers you to live a life filled with purpose, acceptance, and the freedom to discover what truly belongs in your journey. So, the next time you find yourself clinging to something too tightly, remember Powell's words. Take a deep breath, loosen your grip, and trust in the natural ebb and flow of life. Who knows, what you desire may just find its way back to you when the time is right. And if it doesn't, have faith that something even better is waiting for you just around the corner. Thanks for watching this video. By the way, if you have any unused cash stashed away in secret bank accounts, precious gold bars, rare gems, priceless paintings, rare dinosaur bones, or asteroid pieces, luxury cars, private jets, or even an exotic island somewhere, please donate them to support this channel. Donation link is in description and pinned comment below. Become an author course if you are a newbie, I can coach you online to write a book with my self-paced video course. Publish your book if you have written a book and looking for a publisher, I can help you to self-publish it worldwide on Amazon, Apple, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, Flipkart, etc., with my affordable assisted publishing service. Visit www.authorworld.com for details. Contact me at thegendra at yahoo.com and thegendrabs at gmail.com for more details. Thank you.